Hi, I'm Ricardo Coburg with Andrew Sports Medicine, and today we're going to be performing an ultrasound guided first dorsal compartment release for decorving tenosynovitis. So I've prepped everything in sterile fashion, betadine and alcohol, and we're going to be doing an anesthetic nerve block to the superficial radial nerve, and I'm using a mixture of lidocaine with marcaine. So we've identified the superficial radial nerve on the screen right where the arrow is. And so we'll go ahead and advance our 25 gauge needle in playing with the probe. I'll inject a little bit of medication subcutaneously so it starts providing some relief. You can see a needle coming in playing with the probe in the screen. And we'll inject right around that superficial radial nerve where the arrow is. You can see the nerve there hydrodissecting off from the soft tissue around. And we inject under, and then we'll inject over. I've identified on the screen, on the left side of the screen, the superficial radial nerve as it crosses over that dorsal compartment. And we can see that it's far off from the actual extensor retinaculum. So it's going to be very safe, and there's no risk in this case of having that uh, injured. And so we're going to advance 25 gauge needle, and I have a mixture of uh, three milliliters of lidocaine 1% with epinephrine. The epinephrine will help with the hemostasis during the procedure. And so we're going to advance it in plane with the probe and we're going to inject over and under the extensor retinaculum uh, through the whole soft tissue. So you inject a little bit in the subcutaneous uh, entry point and then we go ahead and advance and you can see it advancing in the screen and we're hydrodissecting that soft tissue over the extensor retinaculum. And that's where the extensor retinaculum ends, right about there. And now we're going to inject into the tendon sheath per se. You can see the extensor retinaculum that's thickened and that's where the tendon is getting the entrapment. So now we're injecting in the tendon sheath so it's spreading inside the tendon sheath right there. So I'm gonna inject a little bit more in the extensor retinaculum per se to make sure that we get full local anesthetic effect in that soft tissue area. So now we're going to proceed with doing the actual incision through the first dorsal compartment and then sheath and the extensor retinaculum. And we're gonna be using an 18 gauge needle that has a blade on the tip and it's called the no core needle. And so it is an actual needle with a scalpel at the tip. And so we do make a full incision through this so we can achieve a complete release. And so at this point we should have achieved full anesthetic effect. And so we'll do our puncture and we'll identify our retinaculum and the tendon and the screen we go ahead and advance the instrument down to that extensor retinaculum and we make sure we stay superficial to the tendon so we don't injure that tendon. And there you saw how it gave and so that pretty much shows there where I've completed doing my incision through that extensor retinaculum. So once you see the scalpel do the full incision. We use the same needle to irrigate the area. And so we're injecting into the tendon sheath and I can see that retinaculum that has now separated from the tendon and it has now space for the fluid to travel through. And so you could look at it in long axis as well as in short axis with the ultrasound. And we can see the needle tip in the middle and I can see the two edges of the retinaculum there. And so we come out and I'll go ahead and move that thumb into flexion and extension. And so I'll do a dynamic evaluation to make sure that that tendon is gliding smoothly. So you can see the tendon gliding smoothly right there and it's no longer entrapped. And so that completes the procedure. We'll put a regular band-aid over the area and uh, we'll request to the patient that they avoid doing heavy lifting or heavy gripping for uh, two weeks after the procedure. 
and at that point they can resume activities as tolerated.